it's like a cup that overflows. Like you believe and you believe and you know and you hold the feeling and you get to have it and whatever. And eventually you see the overflow into your life of all those moments of faith, of all those moments of believing and deciding. Even though we've been manifesting our whole lives, we've been attracting our whole lives, even if we didn't know that's what we were doing, we didn't know what to call it, applying this to money feels really hard because it rubs up against a lot of limiting ideas and beliefs and fears and wounds that we didn't even know we had. Stuff we learned as children, stuff we learned as teenagers in our early adult life. We learned to believe that we were irresponsible, that we were bad with money. Money doesn't grow on trees. It's motherfucking paper, it actually does. Um, money is the root of all evil, not true. Money is not bad or good. Money is a neutral resource that we can choose to use for good to help us carry our mission in the world, to help us live beautiful lives. Good humans do good things with money, right? So that duplicity in your mind, that contrary idea that you picked up in your families or in church or you know, when the guy didn't buy your dinner at prom or what the fuck ever. The ideas around money that said like, I am not worthy of it, or I have to do something hard or uncomfortable to get this, or it'll be really, really, really hard work to ever have the abundance I want is just like not true. It's ideas we've picked up and we can change and shift those ideas. So it feels hard at first because you're like, wait, that's not true. And you really have to look at the idea and be like, fuck. What if that wasn't true and you get to try on new ideas? Money comes naturally and easily to me. I am quickly attracting X amount of money into my month. My work is of high service and worthy of massive compensation. I believe my business more than triples every single year and it has. The idea that spending is safe, you know, there's more where that came from. The idea that circulating money is safe. So all of these ideas feel good. They feel a lot better but they're contrary to what we've been taught. So learning to align with these new feelings and align with these new ideas and make this our new truth and our new reality and the paradigm by which how life works for us isn't that hard of work, but it's a new thing for many of us. It takes, it takes choosing, it takes focusing, it takes deciding, it takes dedication, it takes some commitment, right? Money isn't responding to anything besides you, your energy. Money is not holding an opinion about you. Money is not approving or disapproving of your thoughts or feelings that day. It's just responding to you. It's just responding to you. So if money is responding to our thoughts, feelings, emotions, beliefs about money all the time, then we can take the weird pressure out of it. It's not that... It's not that I have to wait on God to bless me. It's not that I have to master the law of attraction. Everything that occurs in my outside world is just feedback. Everything is just feedback. So in my life, when I create weird situations or fucked up situations around many, if you know two people are wanting a refund in one day, or if someone's wanting to back out of something they financially committed to with me, it doesn't mean I fucked it up or I'm doing something wrong. It's just feedback. Where in me was I not confident about my services? Where in me was I not comfortable receiving money? Where in me was I afraid of letting things be this good? Where in me was I available for a little bit of chaos? Does that make sense? I want to say something about guidance and how we know what to do in our lives. This is fully important. Okay. So the thing is, like, I remember there definitely being a point in my life where I thought like that trumpets were supposed to sound or something or God was supposed to like get out of mic and like audibly speak to me for me to know what to do. And that made making decisions really hard and really complicated, right? Making decisions felt like a big massive thing that I could fuck up. And my friend in college said to me, Amanda, God's will is not so fragile that you can drop it and break it. Like you can figure things out. You can be confused. You can try things out. You can live. It's not so fragile that you can drop it and break it. 
And that has become very true in my life as I embody and live this message of like, you can't fuck it up. You can't fuck it up. I believe fully that we can't fuck it up. Like it is safe for me to try things in business. It is safe for me to try things in life. It is safe for me to live my life. There's not all the pressure that we think there is. It's self-imposed. It's more than anything, it's restricting. It's our ego and our doubt and our fear holding us back and keeping us stuck and contributing to us playing small when we believe that one little move, one wrong decision could cause some sort of massive chaos upon us, right? It is restricting and it makes it nearly impossible to live. It makes it fully impossible to follow our hearts and to do the damn thing, right? So more than enough money feels to me like more than enough. Like so much, I don't even know what to do with it all. Like it just feels like overflow, abundance, next level. Like how would you feel if you fully had more than enough? And like the homework we did last night where we held that feeling in our body, like feel those feelings of there is so much, I can pay all the things and buy all the things and have everything I need all the time. I am fully supported, it's fully more than enough. Does that make sense? And as far as manifesting large sums versus smaller amounts, me personally, I always manifested the next amount I could energetically get behind and believe I could have. But in the beginning it was like, you know, 3,000 to 4,500, 4,500 to like, I think, seven something, seven something to 11 something, 11,000 a month to 20,000 to 42 to 67 to I think 72 to 109 to whatever. But the next number was the amount I fully believed I could have. So if you can get behind manifesting large sums, there's nothing that says you can't have that. For me, that was always hard for me to like get behind, but I play with what I can get behind and that's what it works for me. I can get behind funneling money through my business, but like all our examples of the success stories on the Money Mentality Makeover page, is all these people who manifested money in all kinds of ways, some completely unexpected, some completely random, some through business, but it doesn't actually matter. It will come in through the path of least resistance when you fully know and believe you can have it and you hold on to that feeling. And it's like, I said before, it's like a cup that overflows. Like you believe and you believe and you know and you hold the feeling and you get to have it and whatever. And eventually you see the overflow into your life of all those moments of faith, of all those moments of believing and deciding. Does that make sense?